how to process two jobs through a machine so we've already seen how to process two jobs through two machines three machines now if we have m machines how to do it of different sequence so we have the first sequence of job one is a b c d and the second sequence of job two is b c a d e as you could see here and those are the timing which is three four two six two five four three two six okay on both machine i've already solved this to make things easier for me okay because you know how to record it uh, so the first but please pay attention i did here on the scale so what i did here I sum up all the uh, duration of this job 3 plus 4 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 it comes up to 17 so 7 9 15 17 and 9 12 14 20 so we have 17 and 20. the second step of the job what i did so job one on machine three it requires a three so here i counted like from this point to that point we have a so the first way what you have to do is in blue just draw the scale job one or job two and put the points all um, indicating where which job will start which one will finish the second point the second step you have to do is draw the arrows in red so from zero to three is job a from regardless if it is this one before that one we don't care about this right now so job two is or job b sorry C, uh, machine b sorry is from three to seven uh, seven to nine is c nine to fifteen is d and fifteen to seventeen is e and the same applicable here like we start with b five and then four plus three plus two plus six okay so all this is clear the third step we have to do, which is extremely easy, we have to draw a box on the graph, but you have to do it. Like you could see here, there's a yellow line. So you have to do it precisely and you have to be really uh, accurate and take your time while doing it. The second step, what you have to do, if job one on machine A, here we have B is not. So I draw a green line here, as you could see it. And then we are at this point, point three okay so we have machine b uh, sorry job machine b on job one and two which is from three to seven and here one to five so i draw this box c as well seven to nine and here five to nine d as well so they're corresponding on the graph as you could see here only a it was not corresponding so a I draw a line here as you could see for job two and machine a for job one I draw a line here okay so this is the second step the third step which is like the most important step and we're gonna do it right now we have to do a line of 45 degrees as you could see so this line it starts at this point and definitely it will hit at this point which is corresponding to three because this is like a squared and uh, so this point here is like a coordinate of this point is 3, 3. Okay. So the way we do it, cannot start B right now. So we have to go up all the way. You have to memorize it in this way. So you draw 45 degrees. And then you always require the top left corner of the box. Okay. So we start at this point with 0, 0. We go 45 degrees. And we need the top left corner of this box, which is B. And then we draw another line which is parallel at 45 degrees here angle and it goes all the way up to this top of this box here okay and you could double check uh, those points like from 5 to 9 you have 4 and from C to 7 you have 4 so this definitely it will hit the box at this point here okay so uh, and then we have point C and we're starting at this point C we carry on because we want the top of this box here of point D so we carry on with the line 45 degrees and then all the way up till this point and then another 45 degrees till we get to here Just always make sure that this line and that line diagonal lines they're all parallel okay concerning the idle time machine job one idle time if job one idle time sorry if like how much the jobs they had to wait 
it's a vertical lines like so the, the here we have a an idle time and here we have an idle time here an idle time of two five minus three and here an idle time of literally is this value is here so um, so this one is 11 and that one is 14 so we have a three and concerning the job to idle time is this horizontal line here of uh, from 15 to 17 that's why I said you need like a proper scaling otherwise it will give uh, mistakes so we count those number as elapsed time in total we get those value 22 hours and 22 hours